Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take this off here. Got a flathead screwdriver. Taking this cover off, pretty good. That thing's like brand new. Here's a little elbow rubber thingy right there, which goes to your, this is the crankcase breather tube. And then we're going to take the spring off of here, set it down on the deck so we don't, so it doesn't get lost. Okay, on these, I do like to get off as much crud, grime as possible. This, this is the worst kind of dirt, you know, with the petroleum and the dirt combined, the oil, gas, dirt combination is just, it just makes a total mess. And when you're cleaning this off, watch out for that O-ring right there. Make sure that that's in there and good. Sometimes that could be an issue if it's uh, if it's not in place properly, or if the O-ring's worn out. You might have to uh, replace it. That would cause what kind of condition would that cause? If you know, as far as engine running, if you know, leave a comment in the description. If that O-ring was bad, how would that affect how the engine's running? What say you? Go ahead and put it in the description. Not the description, in the comments. Sorry about that. I will put it in the description. And if so, if you want to test yourself, you can go down there and check. Because if that O ring's bad, and it's, it would then be sucking outside air excessive, what would that cause the engine? to do. Okay. So there, that's kind of brushed off. I'm going to blow it off real quick. Get that done. I'm going to grab my Phillips again. Five. Okay. And then this thing's just going to pop off. Now there's a diaphragm that's going to be on here and a filter. Check out this little filter. We'll blow that out. And now uh, make note as you're taking this apart. Okay, it is. It goes. Let's see. The diaphragm is closest to the carburetor. Is that correct? I am not for sure. But when I'm taking this off here, see the there's a gasket. Diaphragm, diaphragm underneath was closest to the carburetor body like this, and then the gasket was closer to the uh, was up against the carburetor body itself. So it was like, so it's like diaphragm, gasket, carburetor, and I guess that's correct, but I think. It might not be um, because these little flapper valves right here, I would think, need to be directly on the body of the carburetor where those holes are. Well, actually, where this one hole is right here. I think that should be right up against the body of the carburetor, but it's not. It is the gasket and then 
the diaphragm. So here's the diaphragm. And when this goes bad, it can't pump this fuel like it should. These get hard, brittle, or they're just worn out. And it won't do what it's meant to do. Sometimes these you'll get a hole in them. I mean, this is still very subtle and soft. A little, a little pushed out there, but I mean, this doesn't really look that bad. Uh, what I want to do, though, is double check and make sure that the gasket uh, goes. I think it's the gasket that goes against the carburetor, and then it's the diaphragm. And then it's the carburetor on top of that, stacking it like that. So I'm going to look that up real quick and uh, research it and see. I'm not sure. Now I'm going to go ahead and dump out the uh, gas that's in here to make sure that it doesn't have any water in it. Okay, so I just got this big baking pan, and I'm going to go ahead and dump this out. I suspect there's still water in here, even though I... Uh, Dumped it out yesterday and blew it out. I still think there might be some in there. We'll see here in a second. What's going on with this? Is it still got water in it? Takes a little shaking to get the stuff out. Okay. Don't really see any evidence down there of water right now pretty empty, but still might see some water dots. The tank is very clean. It's not rusty. It's good. There's some sediment right down in there. Go ahead and spray that out. Some compressed air. And then let's look. Let's look at the gas and see what we got going on. I'm not seeing right now any any kind of water bubble at the bottom of this gasoline. It's looking pretty good. I just put this in there yesterday. Not seeing any water collecting on that. Could be wrong, though. Got a glass jar. I want to take a better look at it. Okay, here's a glass jar I still have from a few days ago. And if you look real close, you can see the uh, water that's down inside of that one. You see that? It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, you can kind of see that line of it right there, how it separates. So I'm just going to dump this out. Yeah, so this is not super clear gas. Okay, there are some micro water droplets in there maybe. I'm just going to let it settle for about an hour I might reuse this. There, There is no super just puddles of water at the bottom of this, but it is a little cloudy, so we'll eventually get some uh, water to settle down to the bottom of that. Oh yeah, and don't lose this spring, by the way. Make sure that stays in there. Uh, so I'm going to blow out the screen, which looks just fine, and I'll blow out this little sediment. Um, bowl down there with some compressed air. All right, so we got this. Yeah, be mindful of uh, your O-ring that could come out with your Teflon here, like a Teflon ring and then a black O-ring. I'm just going to leave it in place, and I'll go ahead and blow down through all the, all the holes I can find. Any holes down in there? should go 
against the actual carburetor like this. First. And then the, I forget that went in there. This is how it goes. So it goes diaphragm against carburetor and then the gasket. Okay, so we get that pretty lined up. I want to take a little scribe or something, line up those holes first. Hey, while looking for my scribe, I found my punch, but that's still too big. Let me find my scribe. Anything small, kind of round. So I've got this little file. I'll do it. Just get in there and line everything up. All those little five holes. And then I'll put the fasteners in there. Hold this in place. I'll uh, get the screws just right there in place. Nice and easy. And they're kind of not threaded at the very end, so it helps to keep from uh, jacking up the diaphragm and gasket. Put this bit on here and kind of like getting these started just with hand force instead of the uh, drill at first. Just first couple twists. Get it in there. Get the threads going by hand. And any fastener that you install on a machine, I recommend get it started by hand first so you don't cross thread. And just make sure it's going in nice and smooth before you put any type of uh, impact wrench or something like that on it. Okay, so we got these started. I'll go ahead and zap them real quick. And it's easy to miss them, so make sure you got all five of them tightened up. And make sure that this little piece is on this side of this little plastic piece here, right there. Because a uh, problem we saw earlier also was that it was like way over here. So it was, that wasn't good. Okay, so we got this back together. Let's take a look at our gas real quick. See if that's settled. I set that down. and I'm Okay, before we put this back on, I'm making sure that that O-ring and the Teflon piece is there. The O-ring looks in pretty good shape.
you get this in there and hold the camera at the same time. Success. And then we take this and put this on that right there. Give it a little pinch. This might not be the best way to attach it here. We're going to, and it broke. Okay, so that broke. I'm going to probably put a little better hook end onto the spring so it stays on here better. That's about to come off. So I'm just going to kind of redo that and get it on there a little better. And it's pretty malleable, so you just kind of do it by hand. Get this back on there. There's actually a hole down there, so that's that's good. All right, so got a little spring tension. I'm going to pull it, stretch it out a little more. All right, got this on top here. And there's my air cleaner. Okay, and this pointy end goes towards the pull rope. Give it a few squirts and see if we got to get into the valves. So we know the uh, flywheel key is good. Carburetor should be good. Primer bulb is working. Spark plug plugged in. Yep. Give it a shot. Might have to adjust the. Um, Governor spring a little bit, so I'm going to grab my needle nose pliers in preparation for that. I'm going to go ahead and strap on my um, strap here so that I don't have to hold it constantly and I can go adjust the carburetor governor spring as needed. I got it lightly, kind of loosely holding that handle so that I can like quick release it if I need to. No big deal. Okay, so primed it, see what she's got. 